So the iPhone 11 is in a very strange situation, and I will say this is still one of my favorite iPhones of all time, and I will caveat this whole video saying that we are still in an iOS 16 beta form. So this means that we are not on the official version, iOS 16 could completely change, and I say that to say iOS 16 on the iPhone 11 stability wise has been pretty stable, I've been rocking it since beta 1, and it's been a pretty decent experience. The only slight issue I've been having, and it's not an issue, but it's a really really weird thing, is with the battery life on some of these IPS iPhones. And what I mean by that is the iPhone 11 has an IPS panel, the iPhone XR has an IPS panel, and I'm getting some really weird battery life. So I did a battery test the other day comparing the iPhone 11 against the iPhone 10. I think some other iPhones too. I kind of forget what other iPhones I tested. And in that specific battery test, I pretty much found that my iPhone 11 was doing very interesting against some other iPhones. So if I go and decrease the brightness here, the iPhone 11 is this one right here, the third one from the left, and it was the 10, 10R, 11, 12, and 13. And you can see that towards the end of it, I mean, pretty much every single time I checked in, the iPhone 11 battery life was actually better than the iPhone 10R, which is good, but it was still worse and substantially worse than the iPhone 12 and 13s, but it was also still doing worse than the iPhone 10. And what's funny is I'm doing the exact same thing I was doing in that video, showing the video of the other ones. It's like, and you can see, I mean, even from previous tests though, the iPhone 11 did do better than its previous iOS 16 beta. So I was even showing right here, I don't know if you can tell, but with the iPhone 11, it was doing better than the previous iOS 16 beta 1. But now on iOS 16 beta 4, it's still performing worse than even an iPhone 10. And you can see the iPhone 11 is dead, and my iPhone 10 is at 8%. Now that battery test was done with an iPhone 10 that actually had less battery health than this iPhone. So that doesn't really make too much sense to me, number one. Number two, I did the exact same battery test yesterday against an iPhone 11 Pro and some other iPhones, and I saw that the 11 Pro actually outlasted my iPhone 10. The iPhone 11 and 11 Pro pretty much have the same type of battery life, so it looks like the OLED phone is really kind of sucking up a lot less power with that display than the other iPhones, which is weird, because previously, I've never experienced that. I personally had better battery life on my iPhone 11 than on my iPhone 11 Pro. I would say for the last, like, for the first year that that iPhone came out, this one had a better battery life in my opinion. So I will say iOS 16 has a lot of a time to mature. I don't know if it's necessarily an iOS 16 problem or not, but I have found that the iPhone XR experienced some really weird issues on iOS 15. So I'm curious to see how these issues kind of parlay into iOS 16, and I really hope the iPhone 11 isn't affected and I hope the battery life gets situated. It is getting better, but it's still probably not at its peak in my opinion. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.